Hi, this is John. Uh, today's uh, video is covering how to create your own hack. Uh, there's a couple link that will take you, but I'm going to show you one of them, and the rest of them uh, is pretty self-explaining. And those are the tool that I'll be using. Uh, so where did I get this link? Is right here in the description. I'll put that in the video. Once you download it, it gives you this this file, but it doesn't give you a suite of rage two. So you have to download this on your own. Okay, you have to Google search it, search for suite of rage two, and this is the one I'm using. So I'm going to extract that, extract here, and after I extract it. I'm going to put this uh, homebrew patch onto a regular suite of rage 2. But this one have 23 character. So that means that is going to uh, create 23 character of the sim. Now before you before you do this, there's a, another program that you need to Aware of is if you if some of the game require to be MD or BIN or whatever the format might be, then you will want it to run this program called SBWin 3.0 setup. Now don't worry, all this will be in the download. So you have to do just unzip it, and it probably will say something like this. Okay, it will come with all this. And I, this one means there's Street, Street, Street Fighter 23 character per game. So you could choose 23 character in, and there's total six of those game, like just like that. And this one is part of it. Uh, but I'm not sure do I have this yet. So this is why I'm doing this one. So to do, if you want to change the ROM instead of MD, you run this program. And you could change to a different format. You could change to bin, you could change to any format you choose. It depends on the emulator. Some emulators are more pickier. It require to be MD. Some require it to be uh, bin. So we are going to uh, change it. Now it's popping up asking you do you want to set this up. So if you have never set this up, this is a setup program that actually install it. Okay, then you're just going to do next and it's going to install into your program. Accept the agreement. It's a free software. Next, next, and it will install into your SPWINS directory. Now I already have this program already. So All right, let's just let's just do it like that. I don't know what version this one is. It's three point zero, but I don't know. There's some version that give you more option to change the different format, and some of them do not. Hopefully, this is the right version because. I just override it from my original one. So let's go see if I could find it. SB Okay, if you already have the SB Win 3.0, don't try to install it because it's going to create a problem. So you have to uninstall it to reinstall it. But for the video purpose I went and reinstalled it but right now I have to uninstall it and we reinstall this again. So I should have clicked cancel another word. Anyway, this gives you one, two, three, three version. So if you want that game to play in BIN or SMD, 
you cannot just rename it. It's a good idea to change it. So if I wanted to, to use this, you just click on that little add file and then go to that directory. This one want me to upgrade to Windows 11. I don't want it to. I should have told it just download. Don't try to update it. Yeah, I hope it's not going to damage everything because Windows 11. They're giving me a free Windows 11. All right. So I have uh, BIN version and an MD, but this is for the Ninja Turtle uh, game. So let's go back to the. Let's go back to this one. I'm gonna go to IPS view by date. Okay, sweet of age. And I'm working on the all the 23 camp character. So this is my uh, Samson. And I already copied the suite of age over, but I only have MD. So let's let's say I want to change that to uh, to BIN. And where do I want to save it? I want to save it in the same same place. So you click over here. Still loading. Take a while. Okay. And then you're gonna put it into the same directory, which is my is the F. And then once that opened, you're gonna select the subfolder. And this is alphabet order, so I'm gonna go all the way down to I. IPS. And then I'm going to go to the one is 23. And I'm going to go sweet, sweet of age 2 in Simpson folder. So when I finish, it's going to create another one called BIN. Okay. Then I'm going to say, uh, once it's ready, just click on that little plus sign. Convert, complete it. We'd like to remove all the file from this conversion queue. Yeah, sure. So it will remove it. Now, let's just say I want to create another one called SMD. Okay, so I need to do add again. I'm going to pick the same original one, MD. And then I'm going to run, click on the plus sign, say start con conversion. And now it asks you, do you want to remove everything from the list? Yes. So it's completed. So now, that's how you use the SB Win 3.0. So the install program is, is here, so you guys could install it. The reason I'm running this in the background is my machine is running so slow, and by having this open, it helped my performance run better. So excuse that screen over there. So now I have uh, two version, three version of this. Now, if I want to patch, I want to patch into this but I want to change the name I want to change the name because after the patch is going to be called a Simpson and this is a Simpson the Simpson edition and it give you like 23 or either 23 I think it's 23 23 or 25 character I don't remember so I'm going to change that so that way after I patch it, I will know that those game now is not Sweet of Rage, but it's a Sweet of Rage with Simpson hack on it. Okay. Now to run this, you're going to run this called Fusion Hack. Uh, no, you're going to run the, well, there's two version, but I'm going to use this one. You just open it. So new Nuna IPS converter apply the IPS patch and then I'm gonna look for the ROM which is Simpson and only matter find the IP IPS and that's the homebrew patch uh, then 
now I'm looking for the sensor one so this is the SMD format which is later is going to be uh, it's going to be patch and when it's patch it says successful okay we're going to create another one this time we're going to go uh, same file but this time we're going to change the ROM into all files so I could see the BIN as well and the MB. So I'm going to patch two more times because I want to keep. Now you might be asking, say, well, why are you doing, why can't you just use that Win program? Because the Win program, if it saw a patch, if it saw as a hack game, it won't patch it. So in other words, if you take this and try to convert it using that, the program I was showing you just a while ago, it won't work because it's not past successful. So you have to patch the original before you, uh, you have to convert it before you patch it because once you patch it and you try to run the SP, run this program, it will run into a problem. It won't convert correctly, it will say error. Even if you convert it, when you try to play it, the game would act weird. Uh, let's look at this one. This is a different program that does the same thing. Oh, actually, let me take that back. This is the animation. So I also included the, the emulator. So you could try the 120 uh, 887 ROM, or you could go to the one I just created. So let's test the BIN first. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. What I meant to do was open it from here. So you go file. I'm going to say load my. So it give you Master System, Game Gear, and Genesis. So we're going to do Genesis. And we are going to go to Sega Genesis hack. Oh, those are Sega Genesis hack. I want to go to the same place, but I'm going to go to the Simpson we just created. Okay, let's do the top one, first one first. Now since I'm using window, see I don't like the way the sound coming. It was kind of a little bit off. So there's another program will help you fix the fix it and patch it. So let's press enter. Wow, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23. So there's 23 character here. And this is all Simpson. Not sure which one is my. There you go. So for key, for window, S is the picking, A is for special move, and B is to jump. Use the arrow key to move forward, move back, move down.
making this thing record, okay? Because sometimes when I'm running this, it won't let me record. So let's do. Well, let's do. Let's load another one. So we're gonna choose. I don't want to choose the original one. Oh, that's Sega Master, sorry. Genesis. All right, let's try the MD one. That was the original one before we converted. Let's see if this one has the sound. Yeah, in the beginning entry have some. But the gameplay seemed to be okay. Last one, which is the SMD. Hmm. The SMD seem to be loading slow. Try again. SMD. Okay. Somehow the SMD had problem converting, see that? It didn't work. So not all the ROM format will convert fine. So you have to test it. So that one did not work. So what we could do is uh, we do that one, see if it will make any difference. So if I do on extract 7 zip, on extract here. Okay, so it created MD and I want to convert it back to SMD. All right, let's go ahead. I don't think it's going to work. That's the problem. So let's go to IPS, run the program again. This is the original program, unzip it, give you two files. Apply, go back up, go to Simpson. Okay, we're gonna grab the SMD. I think I didn't delete it. Okay, that's not the one I want to grab. Okay, the one I want to grab is the one I haven't changed the name. Uh, the problem is if you take MD and convert this without converting it first. It's going to be a problem. So let's go ahead and run this program again. And I'm going to run it from here. SBWIN. Because that's a setup program. So I don't want to run the setup program. I want to run the already installed program. So let's go add. See if we remember where I have it. Here's the MD. Okay, I want to convert it to SMD. And we're gonna do this again because if you close it, you have to reset the way you want to save the file to. You want to save it back to uh, Simpson folder. Okay, so we have a SMD and we're gonna run it again. Convert completed. Would you like to remove it? Yes. Okay. Let's put this on the side for now. We're going to go ahead and rename this MD 
not MD, SMD to this this Samsung connect. But this one do not work, so we're gonna delete this one. Okay, and then we are going to copy the name, change this to Simpson, and now we're going to convert the Simpson again and then try again. And it says successful. Now, apparently, it's not successful because we, we run it, this is the second time. So, we have a program called Fix Checksum. And that will fix the program, the one you just hack. And this is a good thing to do because if you have a program like that one did not work, you want to see if you could fix it. So we are going to load the modded, the Mega Drive, and we're going to find a file, which is the Simpson 2. The one we are looking for. Oh, this is only work for BIN. It doesn't work for let's do BIN for now. So the checksum is saying it's great. The, this file have no problem. Okay, but if there's a problem, you just click on fix checksum. Uh some reason do not load SD. Yeah, that's all my SMD right there. It doesn't recognize the other two format. It doesn't recognize the MD or SMD. So I cannot fix. So you only work for BIN. So if you have any problem with BIN format, you could definitely fix it. But apparently I cannot do that here. But that's how you fix the, the one with the BIN. Okay, that's what this program is for. But you only work for BIN format. But that's how, if there's a problem, it will tell you, do you want to fix it? And you click here, this button right here, and that will fix it. Okay. So this is pretty much for the Sega Genesis, how to convert it, how to fix it. And now let's go ahead and run it because uh, let's run it one more time. If not, we're going to delete that, that, uh, that program. Let's go low again. We're going to load the SMD. Let's hopefully this time will work. I don't think it's going to work. It's already. Yeah, let's press enter. Yeah, so that format did not work. So we are going to delete that so that we know that this one do not work. So it's a good idea to test it to make sure your program is working before you assume that it's working. So I'm going to take the original because I know that one work 100% and I already tested. And I'm going to put it into my rest of my collection, which is, should be here. Fix some launcher. Here's the That's part of the program. Don't worry about that. This is part of the when you un uninstall it. So this is 128, and this is the one that has six game here. So I do not have the Simpson. So that's good collection. So now I have another one. It's for Simpson, and this one is the Battle Toes. Let me change the name so it more match. So I'm gonna paste mine over here. And I'm going to name it the same way I name it there. So it'll be more consistent. And this one also has 23 characters. So I'm going to put 23 characters. Now, whenever you do that, you will have to, uh, you have to create a, 
a box art for every one of those. Okay, so those those are kind of like a more challenging. So I have a battle toes, I have go up away, uh, Mortal Kombat, and now I have Simpson, and then Sonic War. Oh, Symbolic War. I want to try that one because I think one of the blade have a character a character where she's having a, a different outfit it's like a sweet of rage 4 uh, jacket let's see if this one have that if not i might have to fix it so let me go load genesis game i'm gonna go back out i'm going to go to the emulator one now i need to change that to Let me change that to instead of six game now I have seven. Okay. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven now. I want to try this one. Yeah, it does have the jacket. I guess people just realize that you have a jacket. I mean, this one is more look like a Sweet of Rage 4 blades. Where Sweet of Rage 4, it, she wearing a jacket, black jacket, leather jacket. And this one, she have a black ja leather jacket. But it's been out for a while, it's just not something new. Uh, I thought it was something new. I'm trying to figure out which button is what. That's the reason I'm still standing there. Let me load the game again so you can see I forgot to kind of go through all the character I just want to make sure the blade was the correct one so I already have this one I don't need to re-download it so you got that one this one So those are all the characters for this game. So let's go low another one. Let's go from the top. This is a female character. And you have... You have like uh, 23 characters as well. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three. Now, for some reasons. Those doesn't have a character icon, but it it does have the character in it. That's pretty cool. So you got the original character, and then you have character of the other one.
Well, I don't know why this is all characters all not okay now we're normal characters. not the best character for this game, it doesn't have jump, don't know why. doesn't have jump, you just punch. Okay, another double. Click escape. Alright, let's check the rest of this so you guys can see what I have. I have this one. This one's pretty cool. Sweet of Rage, Hack, with my and Tekken, Loken, Battle Toes. Now this is each this game is all like have one or two character only. It doesn't have like the whole set. Some of them have four character that is all completely changed. Uh like some of this game here. So that's pretty cool. Got Mega Man, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat. So all this. Wivel City. Wivel City. Now this one is missing Ninja Turtle, so I need to bring Teen Ninja Turtle. Now this one does have regular Ninja Turtle, but doesn't have the Ninja Turtle events. So let me go ahead and go grab that one. If I grab that one, this is gonna be 145. So let me go get that cap, that new one I created, and it is gonna be. Ninja Total Events. Now, I kept it in MPMD, which I should have converted into uh, the other one. So, let me go get the Sweet of Rage, the original. This one, all, this one already have all the box art for for that game it is the video for that game and then the title so we will it's created but it's an MD I like I wanted to do one because I was having some problem with the BIM so let me create one that's BIN Okay, I, I went and got the BIM because I converted it into BIM and then I also run the checksum. So I'm going to rename it to the hack name and then I'm going to go back out and apply that program. Uh, let me see, I don't, do I have it here? Yeah. So I'm going to apply this program again. And it's going to ask me where's the file. So I need to go back out. Teenage Ninja Ninja Turtle IPS, which is a homebrew hack patch, and then we're gonna look for the Ninja Turtle with the BIN file, which is this one. So I have this now. I have this version, but I want this version. I'm gonna do open. Patch is successful. Now let's see how successful it is by running the fixed sum again. Because I run it before I patch it and now I'm running again to make sure that Ninja Turtle game is running good, that there's no error. Oh, see, check, check some have in, see, maybe that's the reason I when I was trying to put it into uh, coin ops, 
machine, it didn't work. So let's try to fix some. So now it's working. So this is the version now is working that I could use on my coin ops. Okay, so that one is fixed. Now to make sure it work, we're going to run the program. Gonna load Sega Master, and we are going to load the one that is outside which is Ninja Turtle. Now I have a BIN and MD. We're gonna try both and see if this one, this is the one that I tried to put on the, the Act Games uh, Coin Ops X and didn't work. So this one has been fixed. So let's try this one. So far, so good. <laughs> Excuse me. I love a bow, so I'm going to use a bow. Cool is that they actually change all the bad guy characters to match to match the Street Fighter 4. I mean Street of Rage 4. Not Street Fighter, sorry. Street of Rage 4, which is real neat. Because instead of using the traditional character, they change it the character. Power off and turn it off. Okay, so that worked great. Uh, I meant to do the other portion of it. Let's run this program. Oh, I have it. I already have it open. Sorry. So I have to redo this. I'm curious if I was to get the one that is already being fixed, the BIN. Can I able to convert it to a different one? See, I can. In correct format. See, that's what I was saying. If you already convert it and you try to convert it, it won't let you because it, it realized that hack, that's a hack game. It doesn't recognize it. For some reason, this program will not accept the hack game. So that's why you have to uh, Convert it first before you put the hack. So that's the example I was trying to show you. So if you want a, a different format, you need to change it first before you do. So which I did, I changed this one first, and we managed to got it working. And we're gonna put it into the 23 character which will take me to the ROM hack folder 187 and now this one will be part of this BIN file that BIN file is being converted for Ninja Turtle is added to my list now it seems like I have pretty much all of them Now, here are some of the Super Nintendo version. Super Nintendo version, you're pretty much going to do the same thing. You're going to download it, then you're going to extract here. And this one gives you the, the original ROM, but I want to change it to English version. So I'm going to say extract here. Okay. So I have this program that I want to convert into the English version. 
So what I'm going to do is make another copy, paste it, and I'm going to change the name to to this one. But I think the the name now is going to be called Shockman Shockman Jewel, and I'm going to change it to USA because it's going to be a USA version, and it's going to be like that. So the game is going to play exactly the same, but it's going to be a hack version. Okay, so I'm going to run this hack, and I need to have this program. Now I didn't show you how I found how I got that program. So the way to get the, that program. How can we get what patient? How can we get what if cancer is could be prevented? Chance. 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 Okay, when I have a program open up, whenever you go to a site and you download something, they always have this advertising. So that's the reason the sound came out. What we're going to do is we're going to look for IPS tool. And you could use the ROM hack site, and it will give you this utility. And you just pretty much download it. That's it. So I'm going to download into my Super Nintendo folder. And I didn't put it on a Super Nintendo, I did put it on a Ninja Turtle folder. So I'm going to put it into the Walkerman. It's not Walkerman, it is Shop Jewel. Okay, so I'm going to save that file. All right, so once you finish downloading, you're going to take that and unzip it, extract here. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to run the program, apply, you're going to apply the hack, okay, then you're going to get the ROM. All right, so we're going to do open, pass successful. All right, so let me change the, make this the uppercase S. There you go. So this is now a hack game that I could add to like uh, Capcom Retro Station and and the same thing with the other one. So I want to run this two program to make sure it work. This one and the Walkerman. Uh, so I'm going to run this program and this program. But I need to have the emulator. So we're going to go to my PC emulator, Super Nintendo. And I'm going to already unstract this. So I'm going to run this program. And we're going to test it to make sure it works. Going to open up the game. Going to go back out to the PC. Going to Ninja Turtle. This is where I save it at. So sub -Zero. And we're going to run the one that I just created, this one. And let's see if everything is in English. Now this is the first time running this emulator, so I don't know what is the which button is for what. But this looks pretty cool. Uh, they have this on Turbo 16 as well, the Japanese version. And they have this in Turbo 16. So we could start the game. Okay, Sh Shock Man Jewel. It's in English now. So space bar is the, the enter key. Space bar is the enter key. But I don't know which button is for punching, kicking, jumping. Good, it's English translator now.
me how to skip this. Can you skip this? I just pause it. Can you skip it? Okay, which one's my punch? Okay, X is my punch. C is my jump. So C and X. L key is to move. Good, working. Let's load another one, which is this one. So I don't know which one is the already hack. No, that's the hack program. Oh, when I download this from uh, uh, the the site called the uh, Hustle, 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 uh, it gave me all this, and but I went and hacked it anyway. I put this two version. One is Mecha Mech, Mecha Man Base, and then the other one is called the Waka Man uh, Fort Forty. So the title is a little bit different, but it's the same. Okay. And they already have the hack version already, so you don't have to do it. I mean, the programs already have a hack, but this is the one I did myself. So let's go ahead and open this one, the English version, English subtitle, and let's see if it played just fine. Now the SMC will not work in Fendercom, so you, I mean the Capcom Retro, not Fendercom. You have to you have to rename it to uh, SFC to work in the Capcom Retro Baseball. So you have this this character name. But that part is still Japanese. Okay, the X and C is the same. That was a door or something. Okay, but yeah, this is the game. So let's power it off. Exercise. Alright, so the both play just fine. 
So in order for it to work on the for my SD card, I will have to rename it. For my uh, Capcom game, I have to rename it. All right, that's pretty much it. How you change it, and but I will not include this for the Sega Genesis. This this SN Super NES will be part of the Capcom Retro Station that I'll be doing pretty soon. But this is a quick video to show you how to do those. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Later.